Hello, my lovelies. I'm Roxanne Karn, personal wardrobe stylist for women, and I'm here to transform your wardrobe and transform your life. And as a personal stylist, I'm always looking for inspiration um, pretty much anywhere I can get it, where it's maybe off the streets or from a favorite magazine. But one place that I usually get a lot of inspiration from is actually from television. Um, and this video today, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite TV shows at the moment and has been a favorite TV show of mine now for um, about three years. It's in its fourth season right now. And um, share some pictures of the style that comes from this TV show. So um, in the past, I remember I wrote a blog post a few years ago um, talking about the television show Suits. That's not what we're gonna talk about today, but in case you're interested in reading the blog post that I wrote about that and seeing all the eye candy in terms of pictures, I will drop that link in the description box. But um, Jessica Pearson, who's played by the beautiful Gina Torres, I mean, she was killing it in her suits. I mean, it was like eye candy. Um, another show that I really, really loved, which I know a lot of people watch too, was Scandal. And the Kerry Washington playing Olivia Pope, all of her outfits were complete fire. So it's so awesome when, you know, we have new shows that come up every now and again that from a sartorial standpoint are really, really nailing it when it comes to how they're costuming both the women and the men. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the sci-fi series on HBO called Westworld. Um, so I will tell you straight up, I am, I'm a complete nerd, like when it comes to certain things. I really love excellent sci-fi television shows. And um, this TV show is actually a remake of the original movie that took place. I wanna say it was like the 60s or 70s starring um, Yul Brenner. He's the only one that I really kind of remember and recognize. Um, and then they made like a sequel called Future World, which was kind of weird. Both movies were actually kind of weird, however, the TV show, ladies, it's really, really good. It's riveting. It's very, um, I love sci-fi dramas that have, um, you know, a little bit of action, but then also have kind of like a very cerebral aspect to it. Um, it has some twists and turns. It really, really makes you think. But one of the things that I love most about Westworld is the fashion. Um, so I would say things really started getting interesting fashion-wise for a couple of the main characters in season two. So right now, season four is on the air. Um, the first season took place in a very costumed environment in the Wild West, hence why it's called Westworld. Um, so those were costumes, and the costuming was great too, but it wasn't like everyday wear that we would wear today. But but from season two and beyond, things started changing. So let's dive into some of my favorite looks over the seasons. And toward the end, I will share my favorite looks of all. All right, so let me get my glasses on because you know, a girl can't see without her readers these days. <laughs> um, all right, so let's jump into our first image. So this picture is of um, the character named Dolores Abernathy. She is um, probably considered the main character of the series, um, or definitely one of the main. There are probably about four or five. But she is wearing this gorgeous Stella McCartney. It's a sleeveless halter neck. Uh, fit and flare dress that has an open back. And I wanna give a quick shout out to this website called Shop Your TV, which you see captioned here in the photo, because I, like, I didn't even know this thing existed. I found this website when I was actually trying to research my favorite looks for um, from the show. And so they pretty much tell you where you can get the um, get the items if it's still available. So I'll make sure that I drop that link in the description box. And for um, any of the looks that are still available, I will include those individual links too so you don't have to hunt for it. But um, I love this, um, this look and I will say this about what world as well that I think why I'm so drawn to the looks are because everything that they're wearing particularly the women in seasons two three and four are so right in line with my personal style my archetypes are a mix of classic 
minimalist and edgy. That is me to a T. And this is seriously what the show is serving from um, a costuming standpoint for their ladies. So anyway, back to this beautiful fit and flare dress. Again, it's by Stella McCartney. We have, um, just looking at the picture, really blue, really beautiful, um, highlights and curves of the natural silhouette, but also it has a slight A-line to it, so it's very flattering. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things where less is more, you know? It looks amazing just as it is. There's not too much adornment. I know the picture of the character doesn't show it, but when she turns around, the back is completely open, so it really adds that sexy element to it. So um, that is our first outfit from uh, the beautiful Dolores, who, by the way, is played by the actress Evan Rachel would. Okay, so moving on to our next look, um, it's also going to be styled or um, worn by Dolores, and this is in season three, episode three, and the highlight here is her quilted moto jacket. I remember the first time I saw it on screen, I was like, okay, this is giving me life. Um, I love that it was so fitted, and I mean, it looks like it was tailored perfectly for her. It's cropped, it's got a nice buttery leather um, feel to it, um, and the aesthetic and look, and I love that it has quilting, but it's got that little bit of edge too in terms of the paneling. So um, that is by Blank Noir. And again, that is definitely channeling kind of the edgy side of my archetype. And if you have an edgy side for yourself, I think you'd really be into this piece too. Okay, moving right along. Next up, we have um, Charlotte, the character Charlotte Hale, who's played by the extremely talented Tessa Thompson. And this is an interesting one. This was from um, season three, episode one. And this one was interesting because I remember when I saw it, it kind of, I kind of stopped in my tracks a little bit because this style, this cape blazer, which by the way, this particular one is made by BCBG Max Osram. If you recall, cape blazers were like all the rage several years ago. I want to say probably about six or seven years ago when the TV show Empire came out. And um, gosh, I can't remember the name of the actress and I can't remember the ca character, but the matriarch of the family, one of the episodes, she rocked this cape blazer and it just was stunning. And then you saw it everywhere after that. So it was a trend that was really popular, I would say for about a good year, year and a half. But then it kind of died down a little bit. But then here we go. We you see Charlotte rocking the caped blazer look in a really, really soft pale pink. Very, very pretty, very feminine. So my outfit for today's video, that inspired me to um, grab my crepe, um, crepe blazer. The material is crepe, um, but yeah, we've got the whole cape look going. So I'm still rocking it, right? I paid for it. I'm gonna wear it whenever I want, but um, that was my inspiration to wear this today. But the thing I like about this too is that it is a really, really perfect balance of classic and minimalist. It works very, very well for the character. It works very well for the theme of the show. And um, as you can see, this, this silhouette is very, very striking. And I think this silhouette would look good on any woman from any body type. So that again is BCBG's um, cape blazer. Okay, next up, we've got uh, Dolores back again. And I remember, like I keep saying this all the time, but it's true. Every time I see, you know, these pictures, I remember when I saw it for the first time on television and I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is absolutely beautiful and right in my lane. So this beautiful jumpsuit right here is um, by um, a, a company, a designer called Black Halo brand rather, and it's called the Lena Strapless Jumpsuit. And I just love, we've got kind of like a little bit of asymmetry going, we have a cutout going. It is very um, clean, it's very crisp. The angles, this is a, such a true, true minimalist look in terms of the, um, the very, very clean lines, the very clean designs and the acute angles. And it's black, we've got that monochrome look 
from head to toe. I mean, just absolutely beautiful, very statuesque. And when I saw that this was by Black Halo, I kind of like to the yippee inside because Black Halo, I've actually um, curated several of their dresses for my clients over like the past couple of years. And they are known for having kind of these um, very sharp, um, like kind of a blend of an edge to it in terms of angles in a very classic way for their pieces. So that was a real um, treat to see that, um, that that brand was featured in Westworld. All right, let's move on to our next look. We're coming back to Charlotte here. So yeah, you see her dress in the pink cape again, but the highlight here is actually the handbag. You know I love a good handbag, so um, let's talk about this bag. So this particular one is by the Italian designer Furla. It's called their Metropolis Satchel. It's a black tote, um, so one that you could use very well as a work bag um, to carry more than just your essentials. Sometimes you think see something that's a little bit bigger, a little bit meatier, that you can put maybe your tablet in, a bottle of water, um, but it's not too oversized. Furla is a fantastic brand for handbags. The quality of the leathers are absolutely beautiful. The designs are beautiful. And again, this particular one, the style definitely falls into that very classic and minimalist realm in terms of archetype. So not surprised that we're seeing some of the accessories really falling into this aesthetic for the show. Okay, so we're getting to the final three. Next up is, uh, we got Charlotte again, and she is rocking a, an asymmetric sheath dress that is by the brand Roland Moray. And over the years, I've bought beautiful dresses for this brand, from this brand for my clients as well. Um, this brand typically tends to have very kind of up-level dresses, and I mean, look at this beautiful neckline on Charlotte. This asymmetry, you know, it's a shape that we do not see every day. And, you know, the cutout and showing that part of her um, decolletage, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. And seeing it on screen and seeing the silhouette and how it's tailored to her, the entire dress, it is, it is a sheath, it's very fitted. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And if you don't know what a sheath dress is, definitely check out my video. I'll make sure I link to that here too. Um, the one dress that I feel every woman needs where I go into a little bit more about that dress type and why you should have that in your closet. But um, but yeah, the Roland Moray is, is really beautiful. And this particular design, um, um, reminds me of a dress um, that I absolutely love uh, and own. And I actually had gotten it for a client and then several, maybe like a couple months later, ended up getting it for myself because it was so stunning. But the brand Karen Millen, they have a beautiful power dress that has like notched collars um, and it just gives that very, very classic and minimalist vibe at the same time. So, um, so hooray for this brand Roland Moray being featured in the show Westworld. All right, now we're down to our final two. Okay, so we've got Charlotte back in the fold again. And this time she is rocking a belted silk dress by none other than Giorgio Armani. And this dress is from the current season, um, season four, episode five. And I, again, I remember when I saw it, I was just like, oh my God, like, she looks so good and the flow because it's silk it is just moving and cascading with every moment of her body it is like art this is what this is what really great clothing can do for you and um you know she's the when she was wearing this outfit she was in this scene for a good bit of time so you really got to see it from all angles just absolutely beautiful and i'll note this too you know with the minimalist looks um, in terms of the archetype, you're usually dealing with neutral colors. So really, for the most part, blacks, whites, ivories, browns, grays, and that sort. Um, and in Westworld, there is a definite um, connection between colors, uh, between good, 
bad and the gray in between. So you'll usually see um, a lot of the characters donning white, donning black. Um, not all the time, but that is something that is a definite recurring theme that you'll pick up if you watch the show. But um, I just love this dress and I will see if I can find a link and put it in the description box for you because I think it's something that a lot of women should own. It's extremely flattering. All right, and then our last piece is actually an overcoat and this we're getting back to Dolores now and she is wearing this amazing beautiful teal blue colored looks like it's a wool I would say it's like a wool um a wool coat and um we've got a nice high kind of standing collar we have a nice defined pointed shoulder long you know skinny um sleeves a very very nice silhouette going to i would say about mid-length so it's midi length and the way that the costume designer styled it was that they styled it with a um a belted um purse so i feel like this is one of my favorite looks in Westworld, and I think it's because a it does have some color. Now I'm a don't get me wrong. I love my blacks and whites. I do have a, a lot of blacks. Um, I have a lot of whites. I have a lot of neutrals in my closet. But I also do like to play with color every now and then. And this particular color, I think, why I'm also drawn to it is in my color palette. But just the the richness of the color. You know, we've got the belt bag going on. It's futuristic, it's extremely modern, it's very clean, and it's just really, really refreshing. You'll see here, this is the first per picture you've seen of her with um, darker brown uh, auburn hair. Um, for the first three seasons, she was blonde, which is her natural color, but they did make her character um, go darker this season, and um, I won't spoil it for you as to why, but um, but there is a change in her, and I just think it looks really beautiful with her new hair color as well. So um, when I was looking for this coat to see if I could find it, I could only find like a random cosplay version of it that you can order from Halloween, which I I actually think I may order. I'm afraid of how it may come out though, but we'll see. Um, so I haven't been able to find it yet. Hopefully by the time I post this video, I might be able to find it and drop the link for you to see. Um, and if you're interested in, in buying it, but again, I think it's absolutely beautiful and uh, really rounds out my top eight favorite looks from the show Westworld. So I would love to know, what are your favorite TV shows from a sartorial standpoint, you know? Um, what shows are you just, you know, so excited to watch week to week or maybe even binge watch. Um, if you like doing that, I like to do that myself. But binge watch to see, okay, what is this character going to wear next? I mean, seriously, I can, I can only really think of three shows for me that did it. It was Suits, it was Scandal, and now Westworld. But drop your favorite shows in the comment section and don't forget also to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell because I want to make sure that you are in the know as soon as my new videos drop. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.